Welcome back everybody, it's Mia So Quick and in today's video, as you can see, I'm back in the kitchen. I'm gonna be showing you how to put together a wonderful breakfast in less than 15 minutes. We're gonna make an omelet, some blueberry banana pancakes, as well as a nice delicious smoothie. So we'll start off with the actual pancakes. What you'll wanna get is you'll need some bananas and some eggs. The best way to do this is just remember that it's a one-to-one -one ratio, right? So if you're using one banana, you need one egg. If you're using three bananas, you'll need three eggs. For me, I'm just cooking for myself, so I'm gonna go ahead with one banana, peel it, and then I'm gonna mash that banana up until it looks all like this. Once that banana is mashed up, I'm then gonna crack my egg and then mix that in. As you can see, right now, it's a little bit too runny, so we gotta add in some stuff. So from here, I'm gonna add in some flour. Um, I did about roughly three tablespoons of flour, so you can actually just measure this out for your own liking, whether you want it thick or a little bit runny, it's up to you. And then once I've got that mixed in, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of baking powder, and that's just to give it a little bit of fluff to help it rise. So mix all of this in, and now it's ready to actually go right on the stove. So when you drip this in, as you can see, I'm gonna put on some butter on my pan, and then I'm going to place that batter in there. I'm using a small pan, but you can do a big skillet if you wanna do multiple at a time. And then, once that bottom is started to, for the most part, cook, I'm gonna add in some of these fresh blueberries that I got, and I just dollop those right on the top as it's cooking on that side. And then, after about a minute, I'm then gonna flip this pancake over, and let it finish cooking on the other side. And what do you know, that's it. You can top this off with some syrup or some whipped cream because the banana makes it sweet but not too sweet. So you might still wanna add in some syrup, all right? Now next is for this omelet. For this omelet, I'm gonna be doing some onion that you can see that I'm chopping up, some bell pepper, I even have some slices of some mushroom. And then I just have some deli chicken breast that I have in my actual refrigerator. And then I'm just gonna take a slice of that and chop that up into pieces as well. Now, to prepare my egg, I'm just gonna take one egg. And I'm gonna add in my seasonings, I add in some salt, pepper, and some seasoning salt, and I mix that all together to scramble it. Now, on my skillet, which is on medium, I add in my butter, and then once that is all melted, I am then going to add in my vegetables, as well as the chicken. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this saute for a little bit and fully cook to my liking. Once that is fully cooked to my liking, I then go ahead and take that and remove it off of the heat, and I'm just gonna place this on my cutting board to add back in later. So now, while my pan is still warm, I add in some more butter, and I'm just going to add in my egg. Now, I'm only doing one egg, so you'll see that it doesn't quite cover the pan, so I'm just kinda gonna make my omelet over to one side, but by all means, you can do more than one egg, or you can use a smaller skillet as well. So now that that is cooked on the one side, I am now going to flip this over. And after flipping it over, I'm going to add back in my vegetable and meat mixture on the top, layer on some shredded cheese on top. This is just cheddar and mozzarella, um, like a Mexican blend. And then I will flip over that top and layer on some more cheese on the top and just let that cook for about another minute or so and there's your omelet, all right? And now for the smoothie, okay? I love having a smoothie in the morning with my breakfast. It's like the best thing. And you can change this up however you want. This is just what I was feeling today. So I had this frozen bag of fruits. You can always get your own fruits and freeze them as well. But I had a little bit left over and I felt like let's just make this. So in this bag, I have some blueberries, I have some strawberries, I have some pineapples, it's just a nice little mixture. So I'm dumping that in my blender and inside I'm also going to add in this mango mixer syrup, right? If you make margaritas, uh, 
you can get this, right? So I'm adding that in as well as some OJ, right? I like some orange juice in the morning and this will just give it a little bit of tanginess that I like. All right, because I added in that mango mixture, that'll make it enough sweet enough for me. Other than that, you probably want to add in like either some sweet yogurt or some honey or even some sugar to, you know, help give it some sweetness. All right, and then I just go ahead and blend that up and After that, I pour it in my cup. I'm gonna to toss it in with my straw, as well as some fresh fruits out of my refrigerator. And there is my quick 15 minute breakfast, all right? By all means, let me know in the comments if this is something you would try, or even if you do. Um, and do you usually eat breakfast? I don't really get a good chance to get a heavy breakfast on my work week, but with 15 minutes, you might be able to squeeze this in, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.